Hello, people of the internet. My name is Nick from Mercy City Magic, and today I'm going to bring you a few replays of my current build of Aristocrats. So this first match will be up against Blue White Prison. Let's go. I'll be pausing it along the way. Uh, this is game one. He's mulligan down to six here. Uh, as you can see, his hand is Narset, Pour Over the Pages, Island, Hydralas, Part the Water Veil, Island. And I kept a 7 card hand, I have a multiple 2 drops, so I'm going to play my Cutthroat here. He plays Nagging Thoughts, gets Jace's Sanctum. What did he put in the graveyard? He put a Jace's Sanctum, so we got 2 Jace's Sanctum off it. I play Evangel, gain a life. Draw Sanctum, passes the turn. I play a land, I go into Sifter. I gain a life from the Evangel coming into play. And I start attacking. And he doesn't draw anything and scoops it up. That was uh, game one. Obviously rather fast. Uh, where was I? Uh, here we go to game two. And I asked him, did he get mana screwed? He did get mana screwed, obviously. He drew five cards. No mana at all. His hand's a bit better. Three land, thing in the ice, pro over the pages. Uh, I decided we both keep our hands, I believe. So he goes first, plays the Prairie Stream. And I'm going to go Forest into Blister Pod. Let's speed this up. Forest into Blister Pod. He plays an island and a thing in the ice. And I go Llanowar Waste into Bone Splinters to kill it. That way he does not flip into Awoken Horror. Because my deck has no answer to that card except removal. He decides to pass the turn. Uh, I go for Sifter. Get in there with the Scion. He goes for Anticipate, which was his draw for the turn. He plays a land, goes into Jace's Sanctum. I read it to make sure I understand what it does, and I do. So, And my first instinct here was to play Cutthroat into Walker, but I just decided to go for Sifter because it puts more damage on the board, and it lets me create the additional token, which is essentially another mana because of that's what scions do and because of the sifters i could start scrying through my deck and here i tap three lands and most of you are thinking oh why didn't you just tap the land or waste uh the thing is unknown shores lets me make colored mana so i tap it with the waste to make black without having to lose life sure i'm up against a blue white prison deck and my life tool isn't really relevant but i'm always paranoid that because my life is too low because of a pain land i'm just gonna get hit for 10 which you'll see in the next replay by the way but I'm just going to get hit for 10 and I'm going to die. So I decided to take the conservative route, play the Zulaport, and it uses all my mana. And next turn, I just go crazy nuts. So he's going to do his thing. He'll play an island. Uh, my thought here is that he was going to pour over the pages. Which, honestly, I don't see why he doesn't. It's the same use of mana. But he goes... For nagging thoughts and rebounds the Anticipate. Which, honestly, I would have just poured over the pages, but he gets a thing in the ice. Which, it doesn't matter, as you're going to see, because I'm just going to kill him. So I'm going to play the Cutthroat, sack the Scions. Yep, sack Scions, drain him for six. And I'm going to hang her back for zero. Now what this does is it's going to come into play as a zero, zero. State-based actions check it, it dies, and then the two Zillow ports trigger, and it puts him to zero. And I explain here. And then just battlefield is a 0 0. State based action check and it dies. Then he scoops it up. So 2 0 against Blue White Prison. So now we're going to look at the replays of me playing against Jund. So I'm going to speed this up. It's going to take a while. There I am, I join. And we start the game. I'm on the top this time. My hand was pretty good. I had two unknown shores. As you see, this is going to bite me in the ass. Like, it's legit going to bite me in the ass. He plays a painful truce. Which, honestly, it's because his deck has much more card advantage than mine that he won this game. I had total control, but as you see here, I'm going to get wrecked by the Sraniant Flames. He plays a Mina and, Mina and Den, plays an extra land. Uh, I go for Ailey from the Unknown Shores. Gets a mountain at the end of turn with his Evolving Wilds. 
He plays a Cinder Glade untapped. He's going to Radiant Flames here. And I'm going to drain him for six. And he passes the turn. Or he plays a Nissa, gets the land, plays his land, flips it. And I believe he finds another Nissa off it. He does. Passes. I go for a Sifter. And then I stack the Scion for mana and make a Hanger back. For some reason, I didn't tap the land, which is really weird. But I guess I just wasn't thinking. He gets a land off his Nissa. And then he will Painful Truce. Oh no, he Draconic Roars. I make a Thopter. I play another Ailey. I attack. I believe I was attacking him. And here he says, it's like, you need to tap one more land. It's like, no, I don't. Unknown makes white by tapping the other unknown. I put him down to seven. And here he wrecks me with this Radiant Flames. Like, I get uber wrecked. He gets a Gitrog monster off of his Nissa. I decide to sack to gain a little bit of life. My field dies. He hits me for four. He passes the turn. I play Cutthroat Hangerback Walker. And he fiery impulses my cutthroat. Attacks for four. I'm down to 11. He plays the Gitrock monster and an advocate. And this reef soul in my hand isn't doing anything. There's the extra land. I just decide to go for reshaper. Draws an evolving wilds. Draws an ultimate price off the Gitrock monster. Gets his land. He's going to ultimate price away my hangerback walker. I think what he's going to do is he's going to uh, flip. Oh no, he ultimates Nissa on Ice Scoop. That's what happened. So there's game one against Jund. Again, I have these going fast because if I don't, it's going to take me 70 million years to get through this. Here's game two. Uh, I made a lot of misplays this game, being completely honest with you here. Uh, when I filmed this game, I had a really bad headache. I was sick. So I was just like, you know what? But I need to get the games in because every single time I was playing, I was playing against a bunch of guys who were playing Eldritch Moon cards. I'm like, I'm not playing with Eldritch Moon, so I had to keep leaving games. And Oh, God. It took me at least three days to get these replays. Like, Jesus Christ. So we both keep our hands, or no, I'm only going down to six, keep mine. I believe I kept a, I believe I kept Cutthroat on the top of my deck. And I'm going first, so I play Quagmire. Play a planes, I go into cutthroat and pass. I have my hand is flesh bag, ultimate price, land, Ailey. My opponent who plays the land passes the turn. I think I was uh checking my phone for some reason, and I'm sorry I'm grabbing water because I'm trying to be healthy apparently. If I get for the cutthroat, then I'm going to play my Canopy Vista and Ailey. <clears throat> play a Mountain, I believe. He's going to Radiant Flames me here, I think. Not entirely sure. Let's speed this up. I've got things to do today. Yep, Radiant Flames. Drain him for two. Now here, I just decide, you know what, I can't do anything. If I play my Marauders, they're going to immediately die. Uh, this was my first major misplay, is bringing Marauder in in this matchup, because I thought he only had grindy creatures. And then he sideboards into big, dumb creature plan, where he plays multiple small things into his big things. And so I just, I'm just like, screw it. Get in with Quagmire, so I get in for Quagmire. Did not lose a life off my march uh, of my land or waste for some reason, because I'm an idiot. Now, I believe what happened is I sided them in thinking he had Kalidus, and it turned out he had no Kalidus in his build whatsoever. Instead, he had the Surox and the Getrog monsters, so that his deck was more grindy, which I don't think I agree with, but that's just me. So he plays Anissa, he's going to get a Forest, which would let me view the decks. Shit. So he's just going to get his Forest gonna pass the turn 
when am I going to draw, <laughs> draw Painful Juice? I'm just like, yes. This is the card I needed in the matchup. This is the card that's going to get me through. So I'm going to Painful Truce for three. Being uh, black, white, and green. God, that sounded so racist. That sounded so racist. So yeah, I do that. I'm just like, X is three. He's like, sure. I'm going to draw my three cards. I'm going to lose three life. I draw two lands and a cutthroat, which kind of depressed me. So I, I mean, I either go Evolving Wilds, yeah, I go for, I go for Evolving Wilds because this is a grindy matchup. So both of us just have a handful of cards, except his cards do things and mine don't. So that's kind of annoying. So he's gonna get in with his Nissa. I gotta take the damage. So there's that. So here, he just kind of sits here for a couple minutes, decides what he's going to do. I believe he just passes. Or he might play his other Nessa. I think he just passes. The... Isn't there a way I can just give him the replay? No, there really isn't. Alright. Going uber fast now. I crack my wilds and I just turn. I get the swamp, and I'm going to play double cutthroat here. And as you can see... His entire deck is just a bunch of one-for-one -one removal, and my deck is just a bunch of one-for-one -one creatures. Now, sure, I don't mind my creatures dying, but the thing is, when they die and they haven't done anything, that's when I lose the game. So, and against his deck, his deck is just super grindy, and it's full of removal, and it's full of just bigger creatures than mine. So, you know, here I go Sifter... And I was about to play Marauder, and I'm just like, wait, that doesn't do anything. So yeah, that was that was the biggest mistake I made was bringing in the Marauders. And here he goes for Serac, and I'm just like, alright, I'm not dealing with this bitch. I ultimate price it, which in reality, I should have ultimate priced the Nissa Because I could have just used the Marauder, and then made him sack Serac. But I didn't want to deal with the 5 damage that turn. Because so I would have went down to 4. And then he could have killed me with the Tireless Tracker or the Quagmire. Animates the Chandra, or activates Chandra, makes tokens and attacks, and I scoop, because either way I'm dead. So, anyway guys, those are the Aristocrats replays. Hope you guys like it. I'll just pop the deck looks up real fast for you. This is my current build of Aristocrats. Uh, this deck is super fun to play. I just don't have the right build, honestly. Like, I haven't played the deck enough against meta decks to know how good it is. Because no one's playing Bant Humans on this server. No one's playing against... Or no one's playing, uh... Green-White Tokens. Everyone's playing these... Study decks. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to try and schedule playtesting with friends. To see if they can, you know... They can build Bant Company and Bant Humans and things... And that way I can test this deck against the meta. But until then, I'm kind of stuck with what I've got. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. My name is Nick from Rosity Magic, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.